Hello, today we're going to use the Brother P-Touch H200 label and ribbon printer to make these super personalised, wonderful keepsake bookmarks for mummy made from children's art. Now to make your keepsake bookmarks, um, you will need your P-Touch craft, you will need some child's artwork and then just some stationary items and a little bit of extra card to make the actual basis of the bookmark. Now I'm going to very quickly um, on a speed video uh, create the bookmark itself, it's really straightforward, you're just cutting and sticking and then I'm going to show you how to make your very special personalised ribbon to go with your bookmark. So let's get started. So we've got a bookmark ready with a hole punch, we just need the personalised ribbon which is where the Peat Touch craft comes into it. So we need our machine, I've picked uh, the red wine um, ribbon colour because I think that would look quite nice with this pink. Uh, turn on your machine and this time we're going to go and select um, the special feature function here, so the little uh, you know present box. And you've got a choice, um, you've got ribbon, text and patterns, we will need the ribbon. And here there's different layouts, so you can have a flick through through the layouts that you've got. The layout I want today is layout number three, which gives you uh, the opportunity to put two different texts at either end of the ribbon, which I think is really sweet and special. So first of all, I'm going to click OK, and it's going to ask me for text one. There's a little B there from a previous project, but let's just... Um, move on from that, delete it. First thing I want to do actually, I want to add a few spaces because I want to be able to cut a little um, chevron into my uh, uh, ribbon at the end. So I've made some spaces and now I'm going to write I space love space mummy. Ooh. Put the Z there. Mm. There we go. So I'm happy with that. I love mummy. So you go Okay, and now you need to put input text two. So this time I'm going to write by, and this was made by Sophie. So we do Sophie, who is a precious two years. And then I'm going to put a few spaces at the end again, simply because I do think that makes it um, just a little bit neater for cutting that chevron. Now you press okay. The machine has worked out that 280 millimeters is a minimum length for you to be able to use this. Um, to be honest, I've tried this out and it works quite well, but I think I want just slightly longer. I'm going to make it 290. Um, so if you're making this, I think that's quite a good length, um, but 280 works as well. Press OK and it will now ask you to print. And you've got a choice how many copies you want. So if you're making several of these, you could now print three or four in one go. I'm just going to print the one um, and I'm going to press OK. And then it says, please wait, here we go. Oh, it's so sweet, look at that. I love mummy. By Sophie, two years, great. And then we're almost done. All you wanna do now is take your scissors. I've just cut little chevrons in because I just think it looks pretty, like so. Just cut them carefully because you don't want to fray your fabric. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. Like so. Nice and easy. Here we go. Now we're ready to thread. Oop, let's get this let to thread it through your bookmark. So what you want to do now is, I've just lined them up like so, so that they're facing in the same direction. You turn it round and you fold it in half, push it through. That's where the chevron's actually quite handy, like so. And just pull here and gently sort of nudge it into place. Give it a little tug, just so it's got a nice neat knot. And there you have 
your super cute personalized bookmarks, aren't they? There we go, all done. Isn't that lovely? So you've got your I love mummy or other personalized message you might want to add. And I love that it's got the child's name and age because I don't know about you, but I'm always forgetting who drew what at what age in my house. So I think this is a super duper lovely little bookmark. Now remember, we have uh, lots of great um, P-Touch craft ideas for you on this channel. Do have a browse as well as a great how-to section. Take a look at that and be inspired to make some more DIYs.